Hi, now in the last lesson we created an image gallery with circular um, images. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to try create a behavior so that when you click on one of the thumbnails, one of these, or these, a pop-up box with the image will show. Now I'll give you an idea of what we're trying to do. If we preview it, this is one I did earlier. Um, as I'm on here, and here and here, that's what happens when I move over them. But when I click the first image, a pop-up window with the image inside appears. And that's the effect we're going to create. So we're going to do it for this second image here. So this assumes you've been following and you've created your image gallery, whether it be the circular one or the first one we've created using tables. So we click on this second image. Now, before you can actually attach that behavior to this thumbnail, you need to create a page with that image in. So right now, I'm going to, this one is saved already. Let me just, yeah. So I'm going to create a new page for the new image. So all I'm going to do is amend this page. Just change the image on this page. That's the quickest way for me to do it. So this is the image. There's the image code. I'm going to delete that image code, all of it. And then I'm going to insert the image I want to pop up. Insert image, go, go ahead and find it. Where's the image? It's the red one, this one. Open, right, so I've got a new page, new pop-up page. I'm going to save this file, save as, pop-up two, because I've already got one. So you need to prepare a page with the image in the center or the side or wherever you want it ready and it must and you must give it a name. I've called mine pop-up2. So I'll close this one. So pop-up2. So what I want to do now is to attach a behavior to thumb2 so that when I click it, it will pop up that pop-up2. You do that by opening your window, your behavior windows and behaviors. No, right, let me just do that again. It can come out real. Click on the image, Windows, Behaviors. Now it pops up. It shows you we already have um, a, a swap image behavior on mouse over. That's when you go over the image. So what we want to do is add on mouse click. So on click, what do we want to do? We want it to add the behavior, open the browser window. It's asking you which browser window. Find the browser window you want it to open, which mine in this case is pop-up two. So I'm looking for pop-up two. Click on it, click open. Um, what width? So I'm gonna say uh, 800 by 800, because it's a big image. No, I'm gonna say 700 by 700. So 700 by 700. I don't want navigation toolbars, no menu, no location, no scroll bars, no status bar, no resize. So I don't check any of those boxes. And I call this um, red concert. Red, con red concert. And you cannot have any spaces in the name. So that's all that filled out. Click OK. And hey presto, it's done. Close your behavior window. Save all your files. Save all. And let's see what happens. So remember, it's for this second image, we've attached the behavior, but when you click it, it will pop up. It also has a pre-existing behavior, or when you mouse over it, it will, um, it will um, sh uh, show up here. So let's see what happens. Go into preview in Safari, right. So on mouse over, yep, it's doing right. On mouse over, yep, it's doing the right thing. It's showing, but what happens when I click it? Click. And there it is, a pop-up window pops with the image inside. And that's exactly what we wanted. So try it out and get back to me. Thank you.